Hello, everybody. I'm Scott Teal. I'm on the product marketing team at, uh, at Snowflake, and we're here live at Snowflake Summit, and it is my pleasure today to be joined by Ryan Blue, who you may know as the co-creator of Apache Iceberg and the co-founder of his company, Tabular. Welcome, Ryan. Thanks for coming to Summit. Thanks. It's really fun to be here. Great. Well, at the, in the keynote, there was a lot of talk about Iceberg, and I feel like in the data community overall, the, the buzz around Iceberg just continues to grow. So maybe just start with, what is Iceberg? And you created it, so what is Iceberg and why did you guys create it? Well, so Iceberg is a, a table format, which is really just a way of saying, like, a method of keeping track of what data is in tables. Um, it's very similar to what you guys do with your inter internal table format. Um, we just have a, an open source one that is um, you know, an open standard that anyone can use for compatibility across projects um, and is you know, really, I, I think, good in terms that it has SQL behavior, um, which is what you want for productivity. Right. And I'm sure as the co-creator of this project that you've been working on Iceberg for years and you've come across lots of great stories. So what comes to mind as far as any stories of organizations who have implemented Iceberg and what kind of impact that it's had for them? Oh yeah, I mean, we, we had a number of those success stories at Netflix. From the early days when we went from not being able to analyze our telemetry data, um, you know, it would take I think days just to, to run a job, um, to getting that down to like 45 seconds. <laughs> pretty pretty amazing um, how, how we were able to, to really cut down the time because we were able to index the data better and cut down the amount of data. Right. Then we had things like you know, being able to turn off an Elasticsearch cluster because we were able to find data very quickly. Um, and then more recently we've been seeing successes, you know, elsewhere. So uh, recently there was a blog post by someone at Insider who got a 90% uh, reduction in their S3 cost because they were so their S3 costs were so dominated by like get requests and and things like that. So there are just a very broad range of successes and and applications from streaming to, you know, the the traditional batch world and cost savings as well as just enabling new use cases. Yep, productivity and cost. Yeah. Um, so with, from, I'm curious, from your perspective, we're here at Snowflake Summit talking about Iceberg. How, are the, how do the two work together between with Iceberg and Snowflake? What's that integration look like? Uh, what, are, what are the advantages of using the two together? So it, it's actually really funny because we never envisioned data, data warehouses like Snowflake using Iceberg. What we wanted to do was take the data lake world and upgrade them to have the same guarantees and capabilities that Snowflake has. But our assumptions that were sort of baked into building Iceberg were that multiple engines and multiple ways of, of working with your data were equally valid and all needed to be supported with the same tables. And so that's really attractive to Snowflake because you can now change out the data layer underneath Snowflake and have other engines or other um, ways of interacting with your data, you know, enabled. So you're using the same uh, Snowflake warehouse tables, but from Spark or from a streaming system, or you're spinning up, you know, model training in a thousand different Python processes. Right. And so in that stack, we're talking about Snowflake, we're talking about Iceberg and the storage layer. You're the co-founder of your company, Tabular. That's right. Yeah. Where does Tabular fit into all this? Well, so. Uh, sort of where Snowflake ends and the data lake space begins, it starts to get very, very messy, especially in terms of things like governance and access controls and, and those sorts of uh, needs. Um, the data lake space has, has never had good solutions there. And that's what Tabular is trying to build. We're trying to build an integrated catalog, access control system, and um, you know, data maintenance and optimization layer um, much like you know, S3 is very simple object storage that can handle a lot of those workloads and just provides this ubiquitous storage layer, we're sort of that, but at a table level. Right. So you can have you know, different warehouses like you would have buckets, um, and you know that it's going to scale like S3 does, and you can use it with any of those engines. We enable that while securing the data and also op optimizing it automatically. With everything staying in the bucket, in the iceberg format, 
um, and based on the open spec. So exactly. with all of your involvement as part of the, on the committee for the Apache Iceberg project, I'm curious, there's all kinds of new features uh, that seem to be coming out. What excites you? Well, so there are a number of really great things coming out. Um, the, the ones that we've been contributing to and working on the most lately are cross-platform views. So when you look at um, when, when you look at this space and realize that it's not just one query engine, it changes the problem quite a bit. Like access controls, you can no longer just say, oh, well, you know, Snowflake has that taken care of. And it's the same for views. So logical views of tables and, and sort of saving queries for use later for other people is a really powerful concept. And so Iceberg is now standardizing views across uh, database engines so that you can reuse them and have you know, a single definition that works everywhere. So that's, that's one. And the other is you know, more deeper, uh, essentially SQL behavior, like multi-table transactions that are really important for like CDC pipelines. If you have multiple tables with transactional guarantees in the, the upstream transactional database, you want to be able to make those same guarantees across multiple tables downstream. And so they're, they're really critical features that we're, we're delivering in open source Iceberg. Well, time's running out. I have one more question for you. We talked about Iceberg. What would be your suggestion of how people, if they found something interesting from this conversation or from the conference, how would you, how would you suggest people get started with all this stuff? Well, I, I think, you know, first of all, go to talk to your Snowflake rep, ask to be into, in the, uh, the public preview, and you know, enable Iceberg support. And then, you know, also, I'd love it if people signed up for Tabular. We have automatic sync over to Snowflake. So if you're using Tabular tables, you can set up that sync, and all of your Tabular data, all of your man Tabular managed tables are available over there. I think that's an amazing combination um, that is really easy to build on. So say you want Spark next, then you can go easily uh, add Spark from EMR or you know, other, other vendors. Um, everything sort of works, and you're sharing the same tables across Snowflake and uh, any number of, of processing frameworks or engines or, or uh, you know, even streaming. So it's really cool. And any, any suggestions for getting involved in the Apache Iceberg project? Oh, absolutely. Um, we love new people. Um, it's a very diverse project with a number of vendors, uh, big tech companies, and, and whatnot. Um, the, the way to join is to go you know, sign up for the Iceberg Slack community, join our dev mailing list, hop into uh, a couple issues on GitHub. You know, it's a very open and, I think, welcoming project. So you know, we'd love it if people got involved and started fixing things that, that they want to see changed. Awesome. Thank you so much, Ryan. Thank That's you. That's all we have time for today. Again, thank you so much. I hope you have a good rest of the summit. And again, thank you, Ryan. Thanks for having me.